Hello everyone, this is Manish from Tovamski. So this is a continuous video of uh, using AI Builder in Power Apps, Power Automate and at the end uh, using UI Flow to do some data entry onto a legacy system. So what is UI Flow? So UI Flow brings the capability of uh, robotic process automation onto Power Platform and why do we need this uh, RPA or robotic process automation is let's suppose we have some legacy system which doesn't have any API exposed to the outer world and we, we want to do some data entry based on the cloud application we have like our dynamic 365 we would be creating a separate video to explain uh, what is RPA and why this is uh, quite different from normal automation so straight jumping to our scenario so in our last video we created a power app now there we added our form processing element and we mapped those form process element field with input text same way we provided one button which was attached to our power automate flow that is power apps button so what this power automate does whenever the submit button is clicked this flow creates a record in our dynamic 365 after that there is a condition if total amount is equal to zero it sends a notification and the next step we're gonna do is if let's suppose the value is uh, greater than zero then we would be adding a new action that is of UI flow so there are some prerequisites which need to be done on the server where we want to run our UI flow or you can say where we need to perform the activity which we record so this video is divided mainly in three parts one would be the UI flow on the device you need to install this particular tool uh, that will enable uh, the Chromecast add-on and second part would be to install the Selenium IDE so this is required to record the step for web browser actions or data entries uh, so first one was to for the desktop version and this was for the web browser version then the third and last would be installing on-premise data gateway and configuring it you just need to install it uh, that's all there is not much of a configuration it's quite easy right you can click here and uh, you can click here and see more of the details that how it is gonna install and what you need to do after the installation you need to sign in with the same account where you are gonna run power automate then it will register a power gateway for this particular account after all these uh, prerequisites you just need to create a connection you will come back to make.powerapps.com and go to data on to the data there would be connections come here click on the new new connection and then find ui flow here you will click on ui flow it will prompt you with the uh, with few details like uh, you need to enter the username password of your pc or the server where you are running this particular ui flow and as you can see i have registered my gateway here with the with the name collections and this particular gateway is available onto my connections right and uh, this way you can make a connection i already created one for me and this is my connection uh, connected right so uh, after all this configuration the next step would be creating a ui flow and uh, recording the steps so what we will do we will go to my flow clicking on ui flows and creating a new one i have already created a flow but let us uh, create a new from the scratch for better understanding clicking on desktop app next give it a name like collection demo or data entry whatever you want click next and now it will give you some of the options same as the power automate it's it would be needing some setup for inputs so what are what would be the input that required to be recorded and these input would be same as what we what we set up here i would be providing the input like salutation that is mr second would be uh, the recipient name uh, sample data would be provided third would be our bill number edc so all these input we will provide i already created a ui flow with all the input set up so i will skip that and continue on to, on to my ui flow and click on edit so I will delete other information right now just to start it from the scratch. So you can see my our first step was to set up the inputs and I gave all the inputs same as in our form processing element. 
clicking on next step, selecting a UI flow decoder, then uh, my recording. Once this is done, we would be clicking on launch recorder. This will launch a toolbar onto our desktop that would be because of this add-on, the UI flow add-on, which was installed in first step. So you can see uh, a toolbar appeared over here that says record input output and done. So when we click on record, it will start recording our steps. Input is to whatever field we provided onto the input that would be available here. Output would be that whenever we are done with the input and at the end we want to give some output from the system that can be set up from here and after clicking on done that recording would stop. So would be uh, so would be clicking on record. So after clicking on record, we will open our Excel, select on database.csv, clicking on first column, going to input, selecting salutation, and mapping both. So you can see it has brought up the value from the sample data. Same we will do it for all other inputs. Clicking on save, closing the application, and now we would be, or let us finish up here. We would be doing the data entry onto the CSV file. Uh, another thing we could have done is uh, opened our legacy app and done some input there, data entry there. You will stop the recording flow, going back to our UI flow, and you will find a script already written here. So these are the script or you can say recorded the steps uh, onto, onto our UI flow. And this is all the script we have to run Excel and do some data entry. We haven't given any input as well. So we could have given some input from the screen itself, right? And that, ca that can be, uh, you can say, utilized onto our Power Automate. Clicking on next. Uh, we can also test the same scenario again with the same data or we can do some changes. Clicking on text now, test and I will minimize the browser. I am not touching my mouse now. So it should be opening, yeah, it, it opened the Excel. And you can see I have I am not touching my mouse. Uh, it is uh, doing it automatically through UI flow. It should be opening database.scv. Uh, CSV. So remember, uh, it will take as much time as we took while recording these steps, right? And it will do exactly the same thing which we did. I added few the data entry on the column five, so it's, it's still doing that onto the uh, column five. So if I would have recorded, uh, like uh, right clicking and going to the next entry, it could have done the same, right? But as I haven't given that input, so it's uh, replacing those values which I uh, which I which which I did while recording. So it looks like our test testing is successful. You can see your UI flow has run successful. So we have successfully created our UI flow. We have tested this UI flow and our next step would be using this UI flow in our Power Automate, which was in the scenario where once record is created onto the Dynamics 365 and the value or the total amount is greater than zero, it would be doing all these steps uh, from the UI, UI flow. Going to my flows. And this is the one we, we were using, clicking on edit. Go to the condition and in the else value, we already put up the uh, UI flow connector here and all the values are present. So what we will do, we will just delete this and we'll show you how you can add an action. So we will, we will add an action here of UI flow. Selecting UI flow action would be from the desktop. If you want to do the same for web, you can do it, but you will require Selenium IDE for that. So clicking on desktop, then it will show us the recent created 
UI flow from our our my flow so I believe this should be the one data collection and it have all the fields now we have to map it as per our uh, power automate so the first is salutation we will search for salutation and map salutation recipient name same way we will, we will do it for all the other fields so our power app button is saved it's time to test our application clicking on preview we already uploaded some uh, bill uh, it has provided the values i have changed it a little bit just for the testing purposes we will click on submit and uh, in the back end it should be started running so it's running i have left my mouse now it should be doing all the work in from the ui flow so it has opened the excel it should now open our database.csv and doing the activities So I have deleted the values from column 5, so it should not be a problem. So you can see started entering the data, uh, same as we found on the, found same data as, so it started putting up the data same as in our Power App. So look like our UI flow has successfully done. We will refresh this page. Uh, coming back here, run history. It should be, it, it still says running. Let us go here and see. Okay, it says it succeeded now. Uh, opening this particular run history. And you will see here uh, the time, how much time it one step took. I did a small change uh, while we were offline. So, uh, I simply removed the condition and directly added this flow here. So you can see it says three minutes it took to update all the uh, do all the activity. So why it took this much time? So this is a small difference between backend automation and RPA. So RPA simply repeats the task which was recorded like kind of virtual user you can say the same activity a user would be doing on onto his system uh, from the ui perspective same would be done from the rpa so like ui validation would be occurring for this particular activities so this is all for this tutorial thank you